In this video, I'm showing you how to fix a high ping in Roblox. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end for the full steps. And let's go and get straight into this. Let's get started with the first fix for a high ping on Roblox. So the first thing you need to do is actually come onto your desktop just like so. And what you want to do is close any applications which may be using the internet. For example, if you've got an app downloading something or you're doing an update, make sure you go and pause it or stop it. And if you're unsure or if an, if an app is using a lot of ping or internet, then all you want to do is go and use your task manager. So either you can go and do control up delete and open it that way, or you can go and search for task manager just like so and go and open it up. And once it opens up, I'll zoom in on this. As you can see on the right hand side, you've got this thing called network. And when you hold over, it says network utilization on the current primary network. And as you can see, Google Chrome is using a bit. Um, so I could go and close that, for example, and hopefully go and reduce some. But the second fix you want to go and try is actually by pausing any antiviruses you may have. So if you have an antivirus software, this can sometimes increase the ping because it's blocking certain things. So if you think that is the problem, either go and pause it or close it. Um, and you can often go and find if your antivirus is running by clicking on this show hidden icon button just here. And as you can see, I've got my um, Bitdefend here. So I could right click on it, for example, and then go and click show and I can go and open it up and then go and pause it. But every antivirus is slightly different when it comes to pausing it. So you may need to go and search that specifically, but it should be fairly clear. And for the third fix, it's actually going to be using Ethernet or moving close to your router. So sometimes if you're using your internet far away from the router and you're using wireless, this can increase the ping because it takes a long time for your computer to connect to your router. So it's definitely worth trying to move your computer even closer to the router or by going and getting um, Ethernet. So that means plugging it directly in via a cable. But you can also go and get these adapters called Powerline Network Adapters. And it's going to go and have an adapter next to your router and you get a plug. You plug it into a wall near your computer and it's going to go and create a stronger wireless signal. And you can also go and use Ethernet. So it's definitely worth looking into those. But now let's go and get into the next fix. So this is actually by using our Windows Firewall. So all you need to do is come down to the magnifying search button, go and click on it. And what you want to do is go and search for Windows Defender, just like so. Um, so go and click on Windows Defender Firewall. Then this is going to open up just like this. And all you need to do is come on to the left hand side and go and click Advanced Settings. And then it's going to go and open this up here. So let me just go and move it down and then I can go and zoom in on this for you guys. So once you're on here, you then want to go and click on Inbound Rules, just like so. And you want to come over to the right hand side and we're going to go and create a new rule. Now, just before I go and press that, you want to go and open up your browser. So what you need to go and do is Google Roblox General Connection Problems and then go to this article here. And once you're here, all you need to do is scroll down until you can see the heading for make sure the appropriate ports open. It says here the ports that Roblox uses is dependent on the operating system used. The port range is currently UDP 49152 65535. Let's go ahead and importantly note this just like so. Um, so we'll come back to this, but go and click back onto Windows Defender Firewall. And then you want to go click on New Rule under Inbound Rules. So click New Rule. And then we're going to go this pop up here. And once again, I'm going to go and zoom in on this. So all you need to do is go and press on Port just like so, and then go and press Next. And then as you can see, we've got a few options here. So let's come back to this, which says UDP. So we need to make sure we go and select UDP just like so. And then we can go and put in the specific local ports. So now what you want to do is go and copy this just like so, highlight it, right click, go and press copy, and then come back to Windows Firewall. And then you can go and paste this in by right clicking, clicking paste. And just what you want to do is remove the space between um, the numbers and the hyphen or dash. So just to remove them just like so, so it's all sort of fluid just like that. Then all you need to do is go and press next. And what you want to do is press allow the connection. Um, and then you want to have them all selected and press next again. And you can go and name this, so Roblox inbound just like so and then go and press finish now what you want to do is go back to your windows defender firewall and what i recommend doing is going and doing the same thing for the outbound rules so go and click on outbound rules just like so and then all you need to do is go and press on new rule and then we're going to go and get another one of these i'm going to go and zoom in on for you guys so then you want to do is select port again and repeat the exact same process make sure udp is selected and then go and paste in the ports so and make sure you move that space again just like so and go and press next um, and make sure you click allow the connection and then wait for it to load and make sure all of these are selected and then you can go and name this again so roblox outbound in this case and then you can go and press finish 
And there we go, you've now gone and added the inbound and outbound rules, and hopefully that's gonna go and lower your ping. And if you're still having the problem, then just go and Google Roblox status, and there's a website called status.roblox.com, it's official by Roblox, and this is gonna go and show you if you've got any sort of issues on Roblox, or if Roblox got any issues, I should say. And if you scroll down here, as you can see, everything does say operational, but there may be downtime, so it's definitely worth checking here. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.